Hello everyone, it's so good to have you back on the Tech Morning Asia show, your number one source of tech news from all around Asia. I am your one and only host, Gloria, and we are reporting live from Tencent Restart. As you can tell, I'm really excited today, which is usually the case in almost every episode. But anyways, we have an exciting lineup for you today, so might as well grab onto your coffee and get comfortable, because the Tech Morning Asia show starts now. Coming up next, Asia is bubbling with entrepreneurial energy in our juicy top quick stories. It's all about smart infrastructure that will change the way we connect. What needs to be on your agenda this week? Here are the must-know tech events taking place this week. It's always exciting to hear about startups that are doing extraordinary things and stepping out the box. Here are this week's top picks. Singapore FinTech Silot raises 8 million US dollars in Series A for intelligence banking. Big news for Singaporean-based FinTech startup that empowers banks with a fast and scalable AI platform Silot. The company has managed to raise up to 8 million US dollars in Series A funding which will be used for the R&D of Silat's main product, as well as a long-term plan to enter into the Japanese market. With the idea of seeing themselves as an AI company, Silat uses machine learning to help with decision-making, opportunity discovery, and customer service. The purpose of all of this is to bring banking operations under a unified roof and use AI in order to find areas of improvement. Silat, we are rooting for you. Keep up the good work, guys. AI-based field service automation platform Zinnia raises 22 million US dollars in Series B funding. If you love fast cars and all things automotive, then this story is just for you. Zinnia, an AI-based field service automation platform, just banked 22 million US dollars to accelerate global growth and expand its platforms to meet the growing needs of field service organizations. Funded in 2015, Zinnia is setting out to automate traditional industry processes, targeting field service management in the telecom and gas industries. With the new investment, Zinnia plans to continue developing and enhancing its technology platform to build out-of-the-box solutions for industry-specific customer use cases and to to further expand into new regions. We wish Zinnia the best of luck for all their future endeavors. Medical professional social network Doquity secures 11 million US dollars Series B funding. Doquity was founded in 2015 with the premise of a mobile app for doctors and physicians to find, connect, and collaborate with trusted peers, specialists, and other professionals over a secure platform. At the moment, Dakuti is present in over six countries, such as Indonesia and the Philippines, and is planning on working with hospitals and specialized medical societies in Asia to expand and create specialized discussion communities. There you have it, guys, our top picks for the week. Let us know which sort of caught your eye by commenting below. Smartphones are probably the most personal technology we own. With a wide range of features that is incorporated in these smart devices, one of the most important functions is the ability to communicate with people through messaging. On most phones, to access your messages, you would need a built-in 3G or 4G card, which makes the devices bulky, or you could opt for a low-power wide area network. But imagine having to text a peer without the internet or even a cellular network. Well, this is what the FireChat app by Open Garden and Nodal has successfully been able to achieve. And how, you may ask? Well, lucky for you, I had the privilege of interviewing the co-founder of Nodal and founder of Open Garden, Michel Benoliel, where we got to dissect the future of connectivity, cryptocurrency, and smart infrastructure. Misha, tell me, with, especially with FireChat, with a company like that, how do you think, and how we've just dived into how, you know, connectivity and connecting mm. with people from different parts of the world is so important. How do you think it has sort of impacted or somewhat shifted the way we communicate now? I think it showed that um, connectivity could be achieved in uh, many different uh, situations, which Absolutely. sometimes can be extreme mm -hmm. or very special. Uh, especially with FireChat, we built it for the festival of burning man, burning man which yes. is happening in, in nevada every year in the in the united yeah, states I've seen, I mean, it looks, and at the beginning of burning man you have absolutely had no connectivity yes. so now they have uh, i think there's one cell tower and they managed to beam a signal from uh, from a satellite so cool. if you are close to that tower you can get some uh, yeah. kind of access want to watch the full interview go to the display link below from morning hikes to ferry rides to different islands to the crazy nightlife it's just that obvious that Hong Kong's innovative community is buzzing. Want to know about the next top entrepreneurship events to network and gain first-hand intel? 
Here's our top picks. If fintech companies and banks want to stay competitive in 2019, in a market where technology will be the ultimate differentiator, there is no way around AI adoption. Using machine learning technologies, banks can improve the customer experience by gaining a deeper understanding of the individual customer to create a customer's offering instead of providing cookie cutter services that may not suit all. So for all you fintech lovers out there, get yourselves ready for the financial evolution, AI machine learning and sentiment analysis, which will take place on the 20th of March, 2019 at 10 a.m. right through to 6 p.m. at the United Center in Admiralty, Hong Kong. Tickets are limited, so don't delay. Get your tickets right away. Why your startup needs LinkedIn. With over an average of 600 million users in the world and over 1 million users in Hong Kong alone, LinkedIn is the number one platform for building and growing a powerful personal brand and positioning yourself in such a way that you captivate your target market. On the 21st of March, Hong Kong's most respected LinkedIn trainer and SME marketing consultant, Steve Bruce, will be running workshop number seven in his LinkedIn for Business series. For all you fresh startups out there, this could be an incredible opportunity for you. So don't waste time. Make your way to Eventbrite and purchase a ticket now. Unfortunately, I have to leave your TV screens because we have indeed come to the end of our show. As always, it was a pleasure to be your host and I hope you enjoyed every part of it. And as you already know by now, if you, yes, you are a startup or an investor who wants to be famous, comment hashtag Tech Morning Show down below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. See you guys on the next episode of the Take Morning Asia Show. Goodbye. <laughs>